So here I have my terminal up and running. And now I can say pip env install flask. So in this way, we are generating a new virtual environment as well as installing the flask framework. So it will take a minute. Okay, so after the installation is finished, now we can go to our code editor and here we have our pip file and pip file.lock. And both of these files contains all of our dependencies. So now we can create a new file, maybe called main.py. And this file is our uh, server code. So here we can say import, I'm sorry, from flask import flask. And then we want to instantiate a new flask server by running app is equal to flask with a double underscore name. And then we want to start the server by running if uh, name is equal to main. And now we run the server with app.run and we want to run the debug mode true. So this debug mode is equal to true, uh, which means that if we uh, modify this file, the server will restart itself. Now we can open up our terminal and we can say Python main.py and make sure that your virtual environment is already activated. So now we can go to postman and we can say localhost uh, 5000 and we return get and we hit send and we can see an error which is 404 not found which means that the server is running but we haven't set up a route yet so here we can create a new route with uh, app.route with the slash endpoint which is our home page and now we can create a new function which called maybe home and here we want to return maybe just a data which called hello world so if we send again and we can see the data is hello world so here our python dictionary is uh, translated into a json response so cool yeah so that's it for this setup thanks for watching